let me show you how I created a digital version of Mike Tyson. Today we are going to use MetaHumans to try to create as close as possible Mike Tyson. I'm already on the page, but you can find it by going to metahumans.com and then you can log in using your Unreal Engine account. So first thing, we are going to go and choose one of the templates to use as a starting point. I have on my second monitor a couple of references of Mike Tyson, so I'm going to use them to try to get as close as possible of how he looks, of how he looks. But without further ado, let's choose a base to start from. So here we have like a couple of bases. I actually like two of them. So one is either I liked Brian, to be honest, as a, as a good starting point. I also liked Ducks. I think that if we're going for younger uh, version of Tyson, I would probably start with a Brian. Um, I'm thinking that Ducks might be slightly better, but let's start with uh, with Brian. I think this uh, is a good starting point and we can continue on from uh, here to adjust uh, the different details. Okay, so once uh, everything is loaded initially, we can now see that we can rotate around our character and see how uh, everything looks. Uh, there's also some animations and other things that we can choose. We are going to go over that a little bit later. But first, let's start with some of the more easy, obvious uh, changes that we need to do. On the left side, we have our menu where we can uh, go and do some of our adjustments. So first, I'm going to go over a head and we are going to uh, pick a bald hairstyle. I'm sure I'm sure that uh, there was some of uh, the early years Tyson where uh, where he had uh, a bit of hair, but uh, we are again picking some of the more recent uh, and I'm going into like some of the references of uh, his more recent uh, visuals and how he looks like now. So once this is uh, something that we picked, I'm going to uh, adjust a little bit some proportions. We can go into the sculpt mode and now you can see that there is like small dots that appear on the screen. This allows us to uh, grab them and after that slightly pull or push them into different directions so that we can little by little model his face. So uh, we are going to adjust a little bit the eyes. One important thing is to always look from uh, the sides, not, not only to look like from one direction. I'm, I'll be rotating around and adjusting all these uh, elements from different uh, viewpoints. I already, as I mentioned, I have uh, some references. So I already have few that are from the side and also uh, others that are uh, almost front or directly from, from the front. So I'm uh, looking in between those couple of uh, images and adjusting it. So for Tyson, he has this uh, chin that's uh, like very, I would say masculine type of chin. And also his face is slightly more V-shaped. So uh, his cheeks are a little bit like this and his ears are way closer to his head, not as wide as uh, we had here on the model initially. Uh, also here on the cheekbones, I'm I'm going to pull them slightly more. I think that this is a uh, good adjustment for now. Uh, I'm going to go quickly into skin again, and uh, we are going to do a little bit uh, of aging process. So I'm going to go back and forth into different parts of, uh, of these adjustments so that we can uh, get like the best uh, result possible. I'm not going to try to polish one area and then other areas leave them uh, not as finished or not as uh, uh, adjusted as they are. So I'm going to So I'm going to, I'm going to do now a little bit of uh, just aging. So we get him to the close to the 58. I believe it's 58 years old. All right, and now we are going to go for beard. Uh, again, I'm going for one of uh, the more kind of recent photos of his. I think it was from. Uh, recently, like he was training, so uh, he had a little bit of beard. Yeah, I think that this uh, 
this looks uh, pretty good for now. And then we will go into uh, details. So here you can see that there is like the salt and pepper uh, slider. So this is going to introduce a little bit of white hairs in here. So we will do that. And also as a base color for the beard, I will go as well for a slightly lighter. Now going into our eyebrows. So Titan's eyebrows, they're a little bit shorter than this. So I think that we can go for something like that. Yep, I think that uh, this is uh, pretty good for now. And I'm going to go as a next step to adjust a little bit his uh, eye color. So we are going to go into eyes and he has brown eyes. Like, I wouldn't go for too dark, so um, I know that his eyes in reality might be closer to this, but uh, we will go for uh, maybe something like, yeah, actually, let's go for the darker ones. I couldn't find an image where we can see a little bit better in details uh, his iris, but uh, yeah, I'll just pick uh, any of those to make it uh, look okay. So this is the image that uh, I've been mostly using and uh, yeah, you can see that uh, there are some uh, small tweaks that I would say from the side. We did, uh, I think, the adjustments and everything pretty well. Maybe here his head is a bit too round and I can probably do a bit the jawline. Okay, and uh, let's do a few more uh, tweaks. I'll go a little bit and tweak the body type so we can uh, adjust a little bit his proportions. <clears throat> Here we have like different things like we can put like our characters being short, average, tall. Metahuman still doesn't have any sort of like tweaking that we can do for uh, for the body. So everything is more or less restricted uh, around the head the different uh, tops, like we'll just pick some different clothing, something that uh, maybe will feel fit a little bit better. After a little bit of uh, tweaking and adjustments, this is uh, where I managed to uh, get the Model 2. So unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't uh, tweak the neck because uh, I think that this is like one of the main areas that we will change quite a lot how the silhouette looks like because um, Eisen has a quite wide neck and uh, it's, I would say, regular human won't have such uh, size neck. Uh, also, we can't do any sort of like body adjustments or anything like this. But looking it, uh, at the model as it is right now, I think that uh, we got uh, quite close to um, the views that we wanted to, to make. Next time, I'm going to show you as well how to edit it so we can add the tattoo on the side uh, also. Thanks for joining me today. Subscribe, follow for more tips and tricks around game development and for artists.